So while the previous review was more basic, this is definitely the expectation that I have for you for the test, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit more slowly and I'll make sure you're very clear what my expectations are. Okay, so you're gonna have a question where you're gonna have two functions and you're gonna have to compare the two and decide which ones are the same, okay? So we have a VA, an HA, they're zeros. Maybe I should make this a little bit smaller here. Um, VA, HA, I, I didn't make it smaller, but whatever, okay? Um, there's a hole, there's a y-intercept. You'll have space on the test, and if you feel like you don't have space, then just get scratch paper, okay? So I'm gonna make everything here is gonna go there. And then everything here is gonna go there. So I can easily tell the differences, okay? So let's start with the VA. In order to get the VA, you set the denominator equal to zero. So this is X equals one. If I set this equal to zero, I can factor if I want, or I could just go straight. Add two, divide by two, X equals one. So they have the exact same vertical asymptote. Okay, to get the HA, okay, remember the HA is based on what's here, okay, so when these are exactly the same, the HA here is Y equals one half, and here, remember how this one's a little bit different, so this reminds me of the ones, that's what you're going to have to differentiate between, so this is the one where it's going to be Y equals zero, or because this one is less than this one, so it's going to be y equals zero. The zeros are determined by setting the numerator equal to zero, so they don't have the same HA. So here it's x equals seven, or seven, sorry, seven comma zero. And here, if I set that equal to zero, there are no, okay, there are no zeros. Okay, so they're not the same, all right? Um, so let's see, got that done. The y-intercept, well, hole. Hole means that there are um, no repeats. There are no holes here and there are no holes here. So if that was an option, they would have the same hole technically because they don't, both don't have one. To get the y-intercept, I plug in zero. So if I plug in zero here, zero minus one is negative one. Seven divided by negative one is negative seven. If I plug in zero here, that's gone and that's gone. That's positive seven halves, so they don't have the same y-intercepts, okay? And to get the same end behavior, um, you would graph them, and I'm actually not gonna go over that one, okay? So the only answer would be B, all right? So there's gonna be quite a few multiple choice, so I really want you to be careful what the questions are, because you're gonna get, um, for which uh, value is it undefined? Undefined means you set the denominator equal to zero. These are ones where it's easy to lose points on because they're multiple choice, but the great thing is it's multiple choice, and that means the answers are in there, okay? So just be really careful about that, all right? Um, this one, what values make it undefined? So all values are defined. It'll be multiple choice, so you won't have to write this sentence if it's applicable, okay? All right, given the parent function, describe the graph. So this is horizontal translation, six units right. So you're gonna write the word horizontal translation, six units right. If you write HT six UR, you you're wrong. Eight, uh, vertical translation, eight units up. And again, vertical translation, eight units up, okay? All right. This one is going to be a workout. Right. It is multiple choice, so you know one of the answers is in there, but you're going to have to do some serious work to get it. Now, the truth is, you could graph this in your calculator and graph each of these and see which one overlaps. And whatever one overlaps, you know what the answer is. So let's just say it's B. I don't know. It feels right, but I don't know. Then, yay, you get a point because you circled the right letter but now you're gonna to have to do a lot of work in order to get the answer. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this right here. So I'm gonna go eight over one plus change the sign x plus one. The bottoms have to be the same, so I multiply this by x plus one, x plus one, distribute, distribute, eight x plus eight minus three 
over x plus 1, which means that this is equal to 8x plus 5 over x plus 1. So this turned into this. How do I know I'm right? I could graph this, and I could graph this, and they should be right on top of each other. If they're not, I made a mistake. Okay? Now I'm going to focus on this, which means I'm going to be factoring. So let me zoom out a little bit. And it's x minus 6, x plus 1. And then here I can take out a negative 3, it looks like, because they're both negative. And that would be 5 plus 8x. Okay, I don't have anything on the top or the bottom, so that's all I can do. Parentheses means multiply. Okay, so that turned into that, and this turned into that. Now let me zoom in a little bit, because I know I colored a little bit too much. And I'm going to cross off the things that are exactly the same. So, this has an x plus 1, this has an x plus 1. This has an 8x plus 5, this has an 8x plus 5. They're the same thing because they're all plus. Now, I'm left with this, which is x minus 6 over negative 3. That's not a possible answer because you can't have a negative in the denominator. So, you distribute it to the top, that turns negative, and that turns positive. And then when I turn it around, 6 minus x. Oh, I'm amazing. I remember that from last year. Okay, so be careful. This will probably be worth four points. You get one point for circling a letter and three points for all that effort. Okay, which of the following is defined for all values? So it looks like I want to get something that looks like this. But I want to be careful because you know I'm going to mess with you on this one. So let's zoom in. So this one I can take out an x and I'd be left with x plus 1. So that means x equals 0, x equals negative 1. Nope, that can't be it because it has values that make it undefined. Okay, this is x minus 4. You're going to have to show this work. If you just go straight to the answer or answers, you're wrong. I think you guessed. x equals 4, x equals negative 4. That has values that make it undefined, so it's out. This one, x plus, ooh, I can't do it. That means I have to do the quadratic formula. Now, how do I figure out if it works or not? If I go negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, it's this part right here. And as long as it's positive, that means that there are numbers that make it undefined. So this is 4 times 1 times 12 is 48. And the square root of 81 minus 48 is positive, which means it actually has numbers that make it undefined. So that's out. Show me that, and I'm happy, if that's applicable. Then the last one, I'd have to set it equal to 0. x equals negative 11, square root, square root. Ah, it's that negative number that makes it imaginary, which means only imaginary solutions don't work, but they're imaginary, which means this is the answer. I see this uh, problem being worth four points as well. Okay, this one I need to solve it in two different ways. So let me do this. So one way is um, make an x, multiply with touches. So then I distribute. Set it equal to zero. I decided to solve it this way first because I felt like it. Okay, so one way is make an x multiply with touches. The other way is if this has a 3, give this a 3. If this has an x minus 1, give this an x minus 1. So now buff by, buff by, and I'm left with x minus 1 over x plus 6 equals negative 6. And then that's x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals negative 6. I don't need you to keep going. See how this step and this step look exactly the same? That shows me that you get that you can solve it two different ways and get the exact same answer. Just show me one of the ways that you can get the answer. 